Hi friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another long overdue Java Swing video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at how to set the Nimbus look and feel in Java Swing. According to the Oracle documentation, the Nimbus look and feel was introduced in Java SE 6 Update 10, so it's available now with all current versions of Java. The look of an application refers to its appearance, and the feel refers to how the widgets behave. Nimbus is the look and feel that I like the best, and it is also the one that I'll be using for the remainder of this tutorial series. The Oracle Online documentation also has a screenshot of the Nimbus look and feel showing what the components look like in a demo application. And I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. And with that introduction out of the way, let's go to Eclipse where we can see how to set the Nimbus look and feel. I've already created a new project for this demonstration and it's simply a copy of the flow layout project that we used in Swing video number five. Now if we run the project at this point, right click on the project, run as Java application, you'll see that it simply has three controls. The first is a label, then there is a text field, and then finally a button. I'm just going to minimize that. The look and feel has to be set in the event dispatch thread, and it has to be set prior to displaying any of the swing widgets. Let's go back to the Oracle documentation where we saw the screenshot of the Nimbus look and feel widgets, and just scroll down. And here we'll see a section titled Enabling the Nimbus Look and Feel. And what I'm going to do is simply copy this four block, highlighting, right click, copy. And now I'm going to go back to Eclipse and in the run method, here I'm going to paste that code. We'll control shift O to organize our imports. And then we see also that we need to surround this UI manager .set look and feel method with a try catch block. So I'll surround it with a try multi catch and then I'll save. And now I'll run the program again and we should see the widgets with the Nimbus look and feel. So they are a little different. I'll just bring up the one that I minimized from earlier when we ran it without the Nimbus look and feel being set. And you'll see here, if I just move it down a little bit, you'll see the background is a different color. The size of the text field is a little bigger, and I think it's more aesthetically pleasing, as well as the button is displayed with rounded corners. And we'll be seeing how the Nimbus look and feel shows different widgets in the Swing Toolkit in future episodes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any videos when I release new content. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.